Hey there fellow white shavers, Brian here the white shave experience. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Today's video will feature three, four, five soaps, new trench lines, along with the matching trench lines splash. Uh, I'm just going to be using the Mercure 34C um, with a second use nascent blade today for a razor. Kind of in the mood for a quick, no hassle, um, cruise control kind of shave. Uh, we have our Razor Rock 400, I think, uh, silver bullet brush uh, with a synthetic knot on it. We're all lathered up in the Lancaster Razor Works bowl there. And uh, I'm going to wet the face and get started. We're going to try to move through this a little quick today. I'm kind of running on a tight timeline, but I wanted to get a shave in. Um, this just showed up the other day. Uh, I am part of the 345 Soap subscription service, so I do get this before it's released to the general public. So this should be coming out. Um, I'm not sure I've seen a release date yet. Uh, maybe this weekend, maybe the weekend after. Usually available on the 345 website, as well as other retailers, including the Razor Company. So um, this is actually, before I get started, there's just a couple of things. Um, this is a new base for 345. I'll give you a look at the pour there. Uh, you can see through the bottom, you can kind of see the soap in there. Um, look at the side label, sorry there. It's on that. Again, this is called Trench Lines. So this is a new base, this is a first release with the new base. Uh, with the new base, John took out the almond oil and he took out the apricot oil and he added Pantanol and Alatoin. Alatoin? I can't even read my own writing. I gotta get my glasses on. Uh, Alantoin. So those are what he removed and those are what he added into the base. Um, I'm not sure how that's gonna affect everything. Uh, could be, I think he had some feedback originally that he somebody he had made a soap for was allergic to almond oil. So he took the almond oil out in a special soap um, and then he started tinkering at the base from there. And so this is kind of what we get um, on that. It still does have um, the same three milks. I think the camel, the donkey, um, and the goat's milk in it that was in the Trini base. So it still has those ingredients. It is a tallow-based soap. Um, lathered up really easily, really well. Uh, did take a fair amount of water. Um, it's so I feel like it's a little bit softer than the previous base, but I, that just might be me. I haven't used it for a while, so. Um, just something to think about, but it's not too soft. It's not crope-like, uh, still has plenty of firmness for those of you that like their soap a little bit firmer. All right, so I am going to get the, wet the face and get started here. If you're watching this channel for the first time, hopefully you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button below. If you're new to the channel and a recent subscriber, welcome, thanks for joining. If you've been around for a while, thank you for the continued support. Uh, the best way to support the channel is subscribe, like and then comment on the videos all those help the little youtube algorithms and help the channel grow we are over 700 subscribers now um and my free time to shave or my time to shave has been diminished lately due to a lot of stuff going on in my personal life so i'm just trying to get some videos on when i can i will have a 700 subscriber giveaway soon um so trying to figure out what i'm going to give away and what that looks like but stay tuned. Also, the other way to support the channel is in the comments below. I do have some um, affiliate links. My cat wants out. You want out? There you go. Let the cat out. Um, <clears throat> anyways, I have some affiliate links in the comments below. One for the Razor Company, one for PAA, one for Murphy McNeil, and one for Strike Gold Shave. If you happen to be looking for any of those products and you're so inclined, you can click through one of those links that will take you to their site um, and you purchase as normal. But on the back end, I do get a small um, credit or commission um, and that helps the channel. This is a self-funded channel. So um, any little bit that I can get um, helps and that helps me either provide giveaways or get new stuff that I can feature on the channel uh, to show everybody. So. Um, there's that. All right, so, I said a lot of stuff going on. Those of you who've been watching the channel know uh, my company decided to sell off its complete pharmacy division back at the end of last year. I left at the beginning of February of this year, uh, stayed through the transition. I've sort of been unemployed for the last few months 
But during that unemployment, we have been working on opening our own independent pharmacies. So um, we have one that's opening next week. They're gonna open on Monday. So I've been really busy the last, especially the last couple weeks, getting things set up with our computer system installed yesterday, with our IVR, interactive voice response phone systems set up yesterday. We're using a VoIP, a voice over IP phone system, and that took a while. It's, uh, anyways, um, so lots of stuff going on. Film some stuff for the news, because uh, it's kind of a big deal in the community here. So all of that stuff's pretty cool. So anyways, I've uh, been really busy lately. Um, so let's talk about the scent on this. Um, very nice scent. Uh, very, very enjoyable. Probably one of my top five P, uh, PA. Top five, sorry, John. Um, top five, uh, three, four, five. So scents. Um, still think I like Fresh Cut Fade for sure. Uh, maybe Shipwreck. Um, I'm trying to think off the top of my head what other ones, but um, anyways, so we're going to pass two here. Talk about the scent notes. I'm going to put my glasses on. Um, scent notes on this. So this is a um, inspired by scent of Lacoste White. Um, so scent notes on this are grapefruit, rosemary, cardamom, ylang lang, tuberose, suede, Virginia cedar, uh, leather, and vetiver. Um, very nice scent. I don't really pick up um, really on the rosemary uh, at all much. Um, I do get the grapefruit off the top. So it has a little bit of uh, that grapefruit citrus vibe on the top. Um, I don't pick up really any of the vetiver. The cedar doesn't stand out to me in the base. Um, overall to me, it seems more like kind of a fresh aquatic-like scent. Very clean, very fresh, probably perfect for spring and summer which is obviously why it was probably released here in May. But um, I would say scent strength on this is probably a medium, around a five. It's not overly, overly strong, um, but it is definitely there. Maybe pushing a five and a half uh, on the soap. So, um, but very nice scent level. All right, let's get in for pass three. Not much to say about the razor. This is the Mercure 34C two-piece pot metal or Zymac chrome plated razor. You can find these just about anywhere, any shave supply, Amazon. I think I got mine on Amazon. It's a great mild razor. It's one that will always be in my den. Um, it's a great razor for first time or newer shavers. Uh, super mild. You can buff to your heart's content with this razor. And by buffing, if you don't know what that means, that means kind of going back over areas where you've already shaved, kind of like this. Kind of do some pickups if you want to try to get a little bit smoother. And you can buff away without really worrying too much about a lot of skin irritation. That's not always easy to do with some razors. There are some razors out there that have more blade exposure or more aggressive or larger blade gaps or different geometry that makes that a little bit harder to do. But not the case with this. I typically throw this, uh, this always sits on my counter in one of those uh, razor holders. And uh, this is kind of my go-to razor when I'm kind of either in a hurry or just don't want to have to think too much about the razor and skin irritation. I've used it enough times that I got the blade gap down or not the blade gap, the blade angle, everything else. So this will always have a place in my den and you can get it for probably 30 to 40 bucks, something around that. So. Definitely very affordable, approachable, and easy to use. So 
some hairs that grow in some funky ways on my neck. So typically this third pass on my neck is kind of like a pickup pass. All right, there we have it. I'm gonna rinse the face here. All right, typically do a warm, warm water rinse followed by a cold water rinse. Just works for me. I use warm water when I shave, by the way. I know some shavers use cold water, but um, I haven't tried it. Maybe I'll try it one of these times, but I just, I, I, I understand the theory behind that maybe. I mean, some people just might prefer it, but also the theory behind that is the warm water brings the blood more to the surface. It maybe potentially, um, and the cold water kind of shrinks. Um, and um, so I guess the theory is less likely to get um, uh, to bleed, but um, I don't have a problem with that usually. And usually if I do, it's either my technique or, or the razor, uh, or actually it's really usually my technique. So anyways, um, the other thing I'll mention lastly um, is this label was actually designed professionally. Um, I don't know who designs John's labels. Some of his labels are typically, um, um, and I don't mean this in a negative way, but sometimes cartoony, like if you look at fuzzy face or they're more fun, maybe I'll put it that way, they're more fun. Um, and um, this one's kind of a more serious um, uh, label. This was done by Jonathan Landstrom. Uh, I'm not familiar with Jonathan, but apparently he is also a traditional wet shaver as well. Uh, but you've got, uh, this is kind of based on um, the whole premise on this soap and the trench lines is based on John, um, uh, John Patton, the owner of 345 Soaps, uh, kind of khaki um, travel case, kind of World War, I don't know if it's World War One or World War Two, but this is based on, world, kind of the art is based on World, world War One, and as a helmet, and then you see the guys there um, in the bottom, kind of in this, um, I don't know, almost black and white, so it kind of fades almost to black and white there, but really cool label, um, definitely something different from 345, but I like it, so good job on that. Um, so that other thing, oh, I, gotta get to, I guess we got to get to the, um, the post here. I almost forgot to do that. Let's give it a shake. And then um, I guess on the, on the um, splash, which I didn't know before, but it also had almond and apricot oil in it. He took it out of the splash as well as the soap. And then he added the pentanol and the all allantoin into the splash also, from what I understand. Correct me if I'm wrong, John. It is an alcohol-based splash. So, but yeah, it smells really nice. It has, you know, it has a familiar smell to me. Uh, like I've smelled it or something similar before. I don't know if it's something similar from 345 or somebody else has done Lacoste White and I've used it. Um, but there's something about it that's very familiar to me. And I'm not a fragrance guy, so I've never really um, smelled Lacoste White, so I don't know how it compares to the original. But um, but very nice. I'd say the scent strength on the splash is maybe a little bit more than the soap. Um, I'd probably put it at a five to a six, maybe five and a half ish. Uh, but definitely there. Um, it smells very nice. Like I said, it's very fresh, um, very clean, um, somewhat aquatic to me. Uh, so if you like those type of scents, this might be up your alley. So look for it coming out soon. So thanks for tuning in, folks. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon on the channel.